In this code sample, we refer the request property in the Slim application object. Doing so, we get a reference for an object that represents the request. There are various methods we can invoke on the request object in order to get detailed information. In this code sample, we can see the output and see that this specific request used the get method. We can easily access the headers. In this code sample, I iterate the headers and print out the names, the name of each one of the headers and the value. This is the output. In addition, I also um, access the request body. In this case, the body was empty. In this case, we don't have any parameters, but if I try to pass over a parameter such as with, a parameter I expect, then we shall get the value we passed over. Here is the way for getting the values of the parameters that were sent together with the request. We just need to refer the params uh, method uh, or invoke it on the request object. Passing over the name of the parameter, we should get its value. Very simple. As you can see, another way is just invoking the get method on the request object and pass over the name of the parameter. So if the parameter arrives using the get method, it will get us the value. As in this code sample. We can do the same with uh, post. Other methods we can invoke can assist us, for example, to verify whether the request was using AJAX. Here in this code sample, we got false. Obviously, the request was uh, by simply typing the URL address in a web browser. It's not about AJAX, and so on. 